So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna take a look at a ton of volleys from different angles and see how some are going deep like that and others are going short. And I'm gonna give you as many tips as I can think of to really help you get the feeling of this. So as you're watching these, uh, you know, really try and feel the instruction, if that makes sense. Like, like imagine you're out there on the court with me. So, so this first, this drop shot, let's take a, let's take a look at this one right now. So you can see that the, the racket face is, is, uh, up, uh, above the ball and right as it's coming, you can see I'm starting to open up a little more than I would on a normal volley and watch how the racket face, I think this is one of the biggest things, watch how the racket face continues to go down after contact and then, and then the strings now angle up a little more than they normally would. And, and I'm also not going to be punching through the ball as much. Okay, this is what's going to help uh, make that drop shot really work for me. Now, uh, let's take a look at the next ball. The next ball I'm going to punch through. So watch here as I come here and I'm pushing through that ball. Also, watch my legs. My legs are going to have more force momentum, especially this leg. Watch how this leg kind of pounces into the ball, okay? Watch how this leg kind of pounces into that ball. And I'm really thinking about sticking. I'm thinking about more of a firm jabbing motion, as opposed to a little light layoff. I'm thinking about laying off the ball. Uh, so watch this next ball as it comes. So here comes the next ball, racket faces up. Now starting to float under the ball a little bit and then look at the racket face. Look how it's opening just a little more than normal. And as I hit it, notice how the racket face is almost appearing to be going in a backwards motion. Watch this. See how, see how it's kind of going forward, but also the tip is laying more backwards. This is going to help take some sting off the ball. We got light hands, and this is helping to redirect that ball short and soft. And, and so at this point, if I was trying to hit that ball deeper, you wouldn't see my wrist so far back in this position. You're, you would see me more punch through the ball. Uh, so watch the next volley as it comes, how now you're gonna see my racket head carry more through. See that? Now I'm trying to hit that ball deeper. So my rack face is still open. I'm having to go low to hit that. My rack face is still open, but look how it's much more of a square, solid contact. String slightly open but look at the push and carry through. And one of the things I really like to focus on is that my um, elbow is completely locked out. That's a very important tip. But you can see the difference in the length. And also, again, really trying to get a lot of force. When I wanna hit a volley deep, I'm getting a lot of force from this leg and transferring it on to that leg. Uh, so my hitting leg, is really gonna load it and then punch and lunge to get that deep volley through there. Next ball's coming and we're gonna look to go again. Can you start to see the rack face starting to open up a little bit and prepare to go a little backwards and open, a little backwards and open. Look, look at the big open there and laid back. This is gonna let the ball, this is gonna add a little more backspin on it and keep the ball going short, okay? Also, even though I'm stepping into the ball, I'm not looking to jab as much. It's a little bit of a lighter step. I don't know if you can see that my step is a little more light and airy, so I'm not as aggressive with my legs. I'm still moving forward to the ball. If you, if you don't have your body moving, you know you're not gonna be able to control the ball too good, but when I wanna go deeper, I'm thinking more of a, of a solid lunge as I am here. See, so having to go low, uh, and even though I'm having to open up a lot more, I'm still pushing through. You see how I'm guiding and scooping that th thing, the ball through, and now back on the toes and going to think about light and open. Look how the racket face goes backwards every time as I hit it. Going to collide with the ball 
and then lay off it right there. That's going to drop it short. Look at the difference in the finish. The racket face is going backwards towards the fence. So this is what you want to be thinking about. And even if you're doing a backhand volley, it's the same thing. So here I come, getting low for this ball, still going to try and take it deep. Notice how I keep coming through that ball. And then the next one, we're going to open up, lay off it. Look how the racket face, again, starts to fall and fade away and going towards that person back there. So uh, this is what you're thinking about when you want to hit these drop shots. Going down low, pushing through it a little more. That was a tough one into the body. Let's see if we can really see we get a stick one. See, now that one, I'm more... I'm more punching through that volley, punching through that volley. Also, look, look at the legs. You can see I'm much more aggressive in the legs. This, this leg's almost off the ground here. My non-dominant leg uh, is almost off the ground here. Everything's on the back leg. And then as I come through, popping right through that ball. And let's just clear out here. And watch, I'm going to go soft. So again, I'm going to load here on the side that I'm going to hit on. That's the dominant leg. And then this is, notice I'm a lot more careful with my step there. And look how the racket face is opening up. And we'll take a look at what those look like uh, when we're hitting through the court too. Uh, from the other side, we'll take one more angle look at the backhand drive and drop shot. So here we go. Here's one more good angle of a backhand drive getting set up. I want you to notice the aggressiveness in the legs. I'm really lunging aggressively from the back leg to the front leg. Almost all the weight right now is on that right leg. The left leg appears to almost be coming off of the ground a little bit. Very little weight there. And then really pushing through and lengthening it out. Look at look where the racket face finishes. So we, that's how, what's making that strong volley through the court there. Let's back up a little bit, take a look at it. Again, punching, driving through. Now the next one we're gonna attempt to go nice and light, short drop shot. Oh, that is a good one. And so let's take a look at the difference, how the racket face is now acting. Not as aggressive with my step, a little lighter with the step contacting the ball let's take a look at the contact open dropping that racket head see that here it comes dropping that racket head out puts a little more backspin on the ball and drops it shorter here comes another one looking to go oh just a tough one in the net next volley driving through deep now we're gonna go short again. And so hopefully this is giving you some, some good pointers on, on how to mix up uh, your volleys, because it's very important. You just don't wanna be able to buy the ball deep. People are gonna run across the court and they're gonna start passing you left and right. And if you hit everything as a drop shot, people are just gonna start running to the net as soon as you start to get ready for a volley. So you gotta be able to have that penetrating volley and then that sweet little touch volley. Uh, then you're gonna win so many points at the net. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Every time you subscribe, uh, you know, another baby uh, is saved by Roger Federer. Um, and that's just, you know, you're just doing good for the world. Uh, so subscribe to our channel and we will see you on future videos.